Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolf Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we play prehistoric werewolves with no civilization. So the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. Trigger warning, this series contains death rolls for babies, infants, toddlers, children, and pregnancies. So if you don't like doing death rolls, uh, such as in the Ultimate Decades Challenge or the History Challenge, please don't watch this series. So I've been having some trouble with my relationships. Uh, Rowan and Yvonne are basically hating each other right now, and I don't know why. No, so don't hand him. Fine. I guess Rowan can take him. So we're going to the caves. I had to rebuild the lot again because I keep changing the lot layout and I have to rebuild it for all the other sims on the other lots according to the new design. So we're just heading down to the cave again because it's nighttime and it's summer. So hopefully my game is not bugged. I know I didn't get any disasters last time, and I'm hoping that this time we actually do get at least one. If not, I'm going to have to basically randomly roll for how many disasters we get in a season and apply them manually. So let's see if we can patch up our relationship. And don't be mean. You need to apologize. Okay, yes, you dislike malicious interactions. And now you're difficult. Great. Apologize. Ah, what are you doing? Why are you throwing a drink at her? Come on, stop doing that. They're being mean. Just keep apologizing. Apparently someone died that they knew. Maybe it was someone from the other Wild Fang pack? Or maybe it was just one of their kids from last time. That's possible too. Okay, trying to build their relationship. Oh no, Rohan is going to be unflirty. Uh, but we're not trying flirty things. How did you become unflirty? Fine. Sometimes I don't get those personality discoveries. They don't make sense. Okay, and now Yvonne is going to be romantically reserved. Great. All right, we're a little bit in the positive. Let's go take care of the kid. And then you need to go give something to the wild things, I think. Okay, where did I put the trailer? I think it's over here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I hid it too well. Why can he apologize to Cassidy? Rowan, are you just a mean person? You don't have the mean trait. He's gloomy and cringe. Let's see if we can beat Cassidy in a brawl. Because we can try to become the pack leader. I don't think he'll win. But it'd be interesting to see him try. Because for some reason she's not pregnant. So... I can't challenge her if she's pregnant. We'll take the opportunity to see if we can steal the pack leadership. And we won. Okay, well, we might be able to complete the aspiration with Rowan. And she's not too happy about that. She is a little bit sad, so um, we can't really apologize. Now we need to turn Sims into werewolves. Okay, we need to keep an eye out for Sims that we can turn into werewolves. Are you already a werewolf? Probably. Oh, no, you're not. Well, guess what? You are now, Phoenix. Okay, we found another person we can turn into a werewolf. That makes two. Well, Stone was able to get the rollover to his tummy milestone. I think it was by himself. But he's able to practice tummy time, so he should be sitting up soon. Oh, we got an earthquake. Well, maybe it was just the other family got lucky. But it seems really strange that I had no disasters for an entire week. Because look, it's only Monday at 7 a.m. and we already got a disaster. Well, 
at least I don't have to do those manually. Okay, so here we go, rolling for the outcomes. And we lost stone. That's unfortunate, but luckily Yvonne survived with a nine. So she has a lot of bonus points now. So this is the changes that I made for this. So the bonus points are from all of the positive traits that she has, her fitness and her rock climbing also count. And parenting also counts for the female. So she can survive probably with even a very low roll. However, we got a two for stone. And I think that pretty much any one of these characters would have passed away with a two, except for maybe Rowan, because Rowan is actually the alpha now. So we did lose the infant, but we did at least keep the female and the pregnancies. Okay, I found one last person to turn into a werewolf. And we will have completed our aspiration now. And we are a wild fang renegade. Okay, we're going to start on the neighborhood confidant aspiration because that's the next one on the list that I don't have anybody working on currently. Okay, we'll ask her to pursue her dream job, but she might not want to do that. Yeah, she doesn't know us well enough in order to be having that conversation. So maybe we'll have to do something else. Oh, Yvonne has gone into labor. So yeah, we'll have to go back to the cave. And leave her down here in the baby area. Now, previously, I had actually been having her have the baby right away by clicking on the bassinet but i think it's more realistic to let her labor play out how it does and not have her actually give labor until she's ready maybe we'll have her take a nap just so she'll be well rested let's see if we can hook charlene up with someone i mean she probably won't hook up with that person but maybe that counts as advising people Okay, so we can talk up another sim, and that helps us advise people. So that's easy. We can also trash another sim. Okay, that didn't count as influencing her, even though she seemed to take the advice. So you can't be mean and trash another sim, but you can talk up another sim. All right, let's make some more friends. We'll ask her to pursue her dream job and maybe see if she'll expand the family. Well, I can't hook her up with any of these people because they're technically all married to other people. That's not a good option. Although Dallas is probably not hooked up with someone else. But no, I don't want to hook her up with another werewolf that I'm playing no, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I'm not done talking to you. Uh, okay, so Yvonne is having her baby. We'll go check on Yvonne. And it's a girl. So we're going to name her Juniper. Oh, and we have a boy. The boy's name will be Atos. And that's it. Two babies. Oh, Cassidy is pregnant now. Okay, I guess Cassidy wasn't pregnant when we left her because she was actually just starting to get to have a baby. So it's a good thing we took away the leadership from her because we wouldn't be able to challenge her otherwise. Okay. Now we have to apologize. Hopefully we can get to her romance back up, but I think the problem is they're not good enough friends. And since she's romantically reserved, she won't flirt with him while they're not friends. Okay, they're pretty much good friends now, I think. And it's a pleasant conversation. Let's try to be a little bit flirty. Okay, we can try for baby again. We need to get her pregnant because we only have the two newborns right now. Okay, Rowan got the werewolf menace ability. And I think that that happened because 
he was devouring something and someone was in range of him or I don't know. I just think that I'm going to need to avoid the devour ability with the other werewolf pack because the collective is not allowed to be a werewolf menace. So we're going to try and continue his aspiration. Meanwhile, Yvonne has found someone to make into a werewolf. All right, we're good friends with five Sims now. Now we just need to get our charisma level up and successfully advise 13 more people. Okay, it's the baby's birthdays. Let me feed them real quick because I don't want them to be hungry. Okay, happy birthday, Juniper. And Juniper is going to be intense. That's just lovely. And she has no wolf blood traits. Although she's scared. Happy birthday, Atos. Okay, Atos is going to be sensitive. My other favorite trait. All right, and Atos is a dormant wolf. Well, I can't win them all. Okay, it let me talk up Xavier to Cassidy, but then she basically said they can't be friends. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we managed to get it up to 12. So that's not too bad. It seems pretty easy to raise, but then we just need to work on our charisma. Maybe we can do that by the end of the week. We'll see. And why is Cassidy being so mean to Xavier? I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to repair their relationship next time I play that family. Oh, Yvonne is expecting. So... Yeah, maybe we should go back and out of the rain. Oh, we're getting another earthquake or volcanic bomb, but it's a disaster. All right, we have uncomfortable, very angry, scared and scared. Oh, that's just lovely. Okay, so here is the next disaster roll. And we lost the pregnancy and juniper well she got a low roll as a dormant wolf so we did keep atos this time Two. well i know it's really soon but we have to try for a baby again because we have to try to have as many kids as possible since they don't seem to make it through the death rolls Oh no, we're getting another earthquake. I just can't believe we didn't get a single one last time. Okay, it's not an earthquake. It is actually a volcanic bomb and it's bad because we have a fire. All right, well, there's the fire. Oh, come on. How many fires do we have to have? Okay, is it out? I think it's out. Okay, so here we go again. And we lost the pregnancy yet again. And unfortunately, also Atos. So down to no children, but at least the female is surviving. So as long as the female survives, we have a chance to rebuild the family. Well, back to the drawing board. Well, look who it is. The last person that Yvonne needs to turn into a werewolf. And that means if she becomes Alpha of the Wild Things, she's finished her Wild Thing Renegade aspiration. Okay, so we'll help Yvonne finish her aspiration and she becomes Alpha of the Wild Things. Okay, and so she's going to do the Leader of the Pack aspiration. Okay, so we started a werewolf club and then we also bought a perk. So now we just need to start a gathering and perform 10 club activities. And we can also work on our charisma and neighborly confidant with Rowan. Oh no, Yvonne is hysterical. We don't need that. Try to calm down. Okay, now we just need charisma level 7. Apparently, you can't get the werewolf empathy 
ability unless you reach Delta rank in a wolf pack and you have to reach Delta rank exactly. Now, unfortunately, both Yvonne and Rowan skipped that rank because they went straight to Alpha. So I'm just going to unlock it because it's not fair that I skipped the rank and never get the ability. Well, Yvonne is eating for two, but she's unfortunately rampaging right now, so we can't do anything about it. Xavier, why are you being bad to Cassidy? Oh, well, their friendship is not going to do well. Oh no, we're getting yet another disaster. Come on, I've already lost all the kids from this family. Hopefully we don't lose the pregnancy again. Okay, so these are the new stats. And basically, in the summertime, no one's going to die in this family anymore unless they get a zero, which is still possible. You know, we've had one before. So here we go. And everyone survives. And this time the pregnancy got a 90. So we're going to be able to hopefully keep this one. Are you sparring me, Xavier? I did not ask to do that. I won really quick. Oh, come on. He spars and runs. No, don't go, don't go meet Xavier. Xavier is gone. As far as building charisma goes, practicing your speech in front of the mirror doesn't really get charisma skill as fast as just talking to people. All right, finally, level seven. Okay, aspiration achieved. We are a neighborhood confidant. Don't use the restroom in there. You can just mark your territory. That's part of your pack thing anyway. If they don't mark their territory enough, then they get hit with no pack participation or no expanding or something like that. But anyway, we don't need to use the restroom. Should we try the friend of the world? Although I have to introduce myself to several sims and I've already know a lot of sims. Okay, now we just need level 5 charisma skill, which is kind of hard to do. Fire! Oh, come on. Okay, Rowan, do not extinguish the fire. Okay, yes, route to safety. I need Yvonne to put this out. She actually has the desire to extinguish the fire, which will get rid of her fear. Again? Okay, this is ridiculous. Come on, extinguish her. Okay, I may not be able to have this fireplace here. It's ridiculous. And that's twice in a row that someone started a fire. And it's not even cold. It's warm. You guys are not allowed to have a fire when it's warm. Okay, introducing yourself to dogs and cats do not count as introductions to Sims. Good to know. Of course, there's a bunch of people at the Moonwood Mill Collective that we don't know. But I don't know if we can find ten of them. We've only got six so far. The issue is werewolves walk so slow when they're full fury, even if they're not angry. Why is that? Okay, now we need to meet someone new in three different locations. Well, that might be tough. Oh, so we get one more disaster for the end of the week. Well, isn't that lovely? All right, well, hopefully this is the last one. Here we go again. And everyone survives. Even though we did get a really low roll for that pregnancy, but luckily Yvonne is the alpha and has a bunch of bonus points. Well, we just need to make 12 friends. Looks like most of these people are already our friend. 
But I think we can make a friend out of Bo. And then Yvonne is working on her club points. She needs to earn a thousand club points. That's a lot. And leading a club with eight sims is really easy because she'll just buy the reward point thing that allows her to get eight sims in and she'll be good. So we're on our way to completing a couple more aspirations. Okay, so here's where we stand. All of these need to be done in order to be done with the prehistoric werewolves time period. And they need to be done by a family that has at least one current heir living. So right now we've maxed out the dancing skill and the fitness skill with the Snow family. So as long as they're alive when the challenge ends, then those two are checked off. Emissary of the Collective has been done by the Levin family. However, there's only one person left, and that's the person who actually completed the Emissary of the Collective. So that one may not make it to the end. And then Wild Fang Renegade, we actually had the Snow family and the Moss family complete that one. Lone Wolf, we had the Goss family complete it. And then the Snow family also completed the Bodybuilder Aspiration, and the Moss family completed the Neighborhood Confidant Aspiration. So that's where we are right now. We also need to complete the Moonwood Mill Collection, which we have not done. And this is the end of the week, and we are not having any more disasters for this family. So one more episode of the Werewolves Let's Play, and then we're going to move on to Luce's Legacy or Horse Ranch. I can't remember which one's next, but one of those. And there'll be five episodes each of those, and there's only two of those episodes a week. And then we go back to Super Sim on Friday, every Friday. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank you.